New tonight, time is running out for permanently disabled first responders fighting for a tax break. Many should already have it by now. The original law passed with 84% of the vote, but three years later, these men and women are being denied that benefit. They called News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld to explain their plight. It, it involves everybody, the whole state, the whole country. He's a former New York undercover cop who posed as a mob hitman. Today, he still lives in the shadows. I've been here since 2006, so I've been paying property taxes like anyone else. He's totally disabled, injured while rescuing dozens from the World Trade Center. We risk our lives to save these people. We're still living with it. I have six bypasses, four stents. Yet ineligible for the homestead exemption Florida voters approved for all disabled first responders. That was 2016, Amendment 3. So in your view, the vote meant nothing? It was a lie. The original amendment actually called for a 100% homestead exemption to first responders who are totally and permanently disabled as a result of injury sustained in the line of duty. That's it. But state lawmakers changed that, limiting the benefit only for first responders injured while serving in Florida. And no one that I know went into the World Trade Center on 9-11 and said, let me see your driver's license because we're only rescuing people from New York. The walls of Jim Bomford's home tell the story of his family's legacy of service. Right here. That's him in his heyday as a New York police officer. From Key West to Alaska, you are protected by first responders. Today, the uncontrollable shaking is a constant reminder of the toxic fumes he was exposed to during his 12 years with the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Ultimately, when it comes to it, they've served uh, us as, as a community, as a country, so I would say welcome them all. Freshman State Representative Adam Hattersley says any first responder deemed totally disabled deserves the tax break. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Chair. He's introduced House Bill 6035 to reverse the change, but there's been resistance, led by State Representative Bobby Payne. The meeting's adjourned. Have you gotten any plausible explanation why this is happening? There's been no plausible explanation. The first arg argument was cost. The Revenue Estimating Conference put that cost, lost tax revenue, at $4.5 million, limiting the property tax break to officers injured here in Florida slightly less, $2.9 million. Bomford told News 6 this is not a handout. We're asking for the ability to perhaps be able to stay in our house by giving us a partial break on the taxes. That's all. If the bill doesn't make it through this session, Representative Hattersley says he'll develop a new version this summer. In fact, he tells me he'll make it his number one priority. And so will we. Let's get results together. Mike Holfeld, News 6.